We are celebrating another Meatless Monday. Kirsten Johnson from Fresh Chef Detroit is here. We're going to whip up another great meal. Healthy, hearty, good. I'm excited about this one. I made some soup yesterday. I told you it's not going to be as good as this one. <laughs> We're so happy you're here. And exactly what are we making? This is a creamy butternut squash soup. Uh, my version is vegan, which means it has no dairy or meat products of any kind. But you can use, um, this is coconut milk in it, but you can use regular Creamer, half and half, anything I like that. I like to cook with coconut milk too, especially if you're doing dairy free. I think it's mm -hmm. just it's thick. It's a good substitute, right? For Absolutely. people who are kind of freaked out about it. And it's not so coconut flavored right. that it's gonna put you off from the soup. All right, and we have our cute little squash here. Yep, nice this decoration, is butternut. buy some extra, put them on your <laughs> yes. table as a centerpiece. And then? Yeah, that's butternut squash. This is what it looks like. You slice it in half, scoop out the seeds, and then you can cube it. Um, we've got some onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, a little nutmeg. Um, this is what nutmeg looks like. That's what I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. Do you throw it in and then take it out, or do you? Nope. I like to use one of these. This is a microplane. I also use this to grate my garlic. Good. And you just go like this on top, and it grates right in there. This is good on your coffee drinks, too. So we're going to throw all of this into the pot, and then you're using an immersion blender? Mm-hmm. I would cook the onion and squash a little bit, and then you put the veg broth on there just to get that nice and cooked, and then you can kind of add the other things. And instead nice. of dumping it into a blender, which can splash and be hot, and it's kind of a pain in the it butt. It really can be. Oof. Then this is an immersion blender. Super easy. You put it in here. You make sure it's under the liquid, and then you turn it on. It's not super loud, and it gets all the chunks taken care of, and to clean it, you just take it apart. They're really inexpensive, too. And it should be to the point where it's mushy enough so this doesn't have to do with that much work, right. right? Yep, you have to make sure that the squash especially is nice and cooked in the broth. I know making a veggie soup yesterday, finding veggie broth, you never know like which is the right one, and it's something to look out for. Maybe people who are trying just a meatless Monday and aren't mm -hmm. vegetarian don't realize it's in most soups. What kind of broth do you like to use? Um, I really like the local Zoop. That broth. One's good. It comes in a jar, which is nice. Um, but any of the, I like to use Imagine or any of the kind of organic boxed broths work really well. It's an easy way to vegetarianize a lot of dishes. It really Instead is. Instead of chicken broth, just use veggie broth and you might have even a rice dish or something like that instantly becomes yeah, vegetarian. That's a lot of flavor too. Mm -hmm. All right, you're in Scene Magazine. How can we see you every month and all these amazing recipes? Well, every month I have a, a meatless recipe on seeingthemagazine.com and you can find me at freshchefdetroit.com. Also, right. thank you so much. We'll put up that on our website, <laughs> wxyz.com. I can't wait to try that. Yeah, Are you guys holding out on me or did you? Okay, <laughs> there we go. We're going to try that. Thank you so much for watching TV20 Detroit. Have a great day. It's a good day for some soup, right?